Beryl, the earliest Category 5 hurricane fueled by record warm waters, is expected to regain hurricane strength as it takes aim at Texas. It pummeled Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula Friday as a Category 2 hurricane, it toppled trees and power lines in tourist hotspot Tulum before weakening to a tropical storm. Beryl left at least 11 dead across the Caribbean and could hit South Texas as early as tomorrow as a hurricane. Right now, the storm is about 545 miles southeast of Corpus Christi, Texas, where 60 mile per hour winds are being felt. Janet Shamlian has more on how the South Texas coast is bracing for Beryl. Janet, good morning. Dana, good morning to you. It's a holiday weekend along the shore here in South Padre Island. The hotels, the campgrounds, they are all packed. But as word of this approaching storm spreads, some people are changing their plans and moving away from the danger zone. Beryl is threatening the Gulf Coast this morning after lashing Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula with 110 mile per hour winds. The storm surge flooded roads, uprooted trees, and downed traffic lights. Beryl has weakened considerably to a tropical storm, but could intensify in Gulf waters over the weekend. <laughs> Targeting areas like South Padre Island, which is full of visitors for the holiday weekend. Just the uh, rate concerns, just the uh, rain, you know, inches, how, how many, how bad it's going to get and all that. Enrique Garza and his family aren't taking chances. Heating calls for a voluntary evacuation of RV parks. We had leased it for a whole week. We were going to be here till Monday, but we had to cut it short because of a uh, burrow. You're leaving early? Yeah, we're leaving tomorrow. Are you worried? Yep, very worried. That, my family's uh, safety is more important. Communities in Beryl's potential path are handing out sandbags. I'm a little bit lower than normal, so I'm expecting some, some flooding. And officials are warning people to stay alert. What we urge people to do is to continue to prepare at home, make sure they've got their supplies ready, make sure their homes are ready, any loose items are tied down. For many in this area, it's the latest threat after four shark attacks on South Padre Island during the 4th of July. Three people were hospitalized. Police deployed drones and helicopters to trap the shark and believe it moved on to open water. And even though communities along the Texas coast are heavily reliant on the tourism that this weekend brings, we've seen businesses here boarding up their windows, putting plywood up, and the people who are staying heading to the grocery stores and stocking up on the essentials. Jeff, back to you. Janet, thank you.